On today's show, Dolce & Gabbana are finally found innocent of tax fraud charges. H&M celebrates 10 years of high-end designer collaborations. Find out which Hollywood star will be making her Broadway debut in 2015. And which one is the new face of Kate Spade in New York? Right here on Fashion Frontline. After nearly four years, the Italian courts have cleared fashion duo Domenico Dolce and Stefano Gabbana, who have now been found not guilty of tax evasion. Last week, Italy's high court overturned two lower courts rulings that the designers were guilty of hiding hundreds of millions of euros from Italian tax authorities. This is the third time the duo, who were initially indicted for alleged tax fraud in 2010, fought against the claims and they finally won. Last April, Dolce and Gabbana were found guilty of tax evasion by a three-judge panel who decided to uphold June 2013's guilty verdict in which the designers were sentenced to 20 months in prison but they were each given a reduced suspended sentence of 18 months in jail which they never served. Actress Anna Kendrick is the star of American fashion house Kate Spade New York's upcoming holiday 2014 campaign, which was shot in Las Vegas by photographer Cedric Boucher. For the occasion, the 29-year-old actress posed in a variety of luxurious holiday looks and was surrounded by a group of men holding the brand's latest bags. The company has said that the Academy Award-nominated star is the perfect fit because she is beautiful, smart, hilarious and wildly talented. Kate Spade New York has also revealed that Kendrick will once again be the face of the brand for its Year of Adventure campaign beginning in 2015 and will collaborate on original content for the Fashion House, which will include films, online editorial features and social media campaigns. French multinational company Caring closed the third quarter of the year with a turnover of 2.6 billion euro with an increase of 3.3%, led by its sports and lifestyle division of which Puma accounts for the vast majority. As a result, in the first nine months of 2014, the French luxury group generated revenues totaling 7.3 billion euro. On a comparable basis, although the group saw increase in revenues, there was a decline in its core brand Gucci, which registered the lowest growth since the third quarter of 2009, while Bottega Veneta registered an 11% increase and Yves Saint Laurent posted a 28% increase in sales. CEO Francois-Henri Pinot said in a statement that luxury activities held firm in a complex economic environment thanks to a strong sales uptrend in our network of directly operated stores. On November 6th, Swedish multinational retail clothing company H&M will be launching a new book commemorating its successful design collaborations with luxury high-end designers from the past 10 years. The retailer teamed up with German-born Karl Lagerfeld for its first designer collaboration in 2004 and has since launched collections with big names such as Jimmy Choo, Versace, Stella McCartney, Lanvin and most recently Alexander Wang to bring high fashion to the masses at affordable prices. The book, titled The First 10 Years, includes words from all the high-end designers who have partnered with the brand and will go on sale the same day Alexander Wang debuts his collection for H&M. Italian luxury fashion group Prada has announced that the company's immediate holding company, Prada Holding BV, will be merged by incorporation into Jipafin SARL, Prada Holding sole shareholder, and the legal seat of other companies in its control will be transferred from Luxembourg to Italy. The announcement was made in a statement to the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, where its shares are listed, and it also stated that by December 2014, upon the consolidation, Prada Holding, which currently owns 80% in the company will cease to exist and Jipafin SARL will be renamed Prada Holding SARL. The corporate reorganization is intended to simplify the control structure of the company and will have no impact on the Prada group. Hollywood actress Kira Knightley will be making her Broadway debut in 2015 with the Roundabout Theatre Company in a new adaptation of the drama Therese Raquin. According to Deadline.com, the company, which operates three Broadway venues, will launch its 50th anniversary season next October, with Knightley as Emile Zola's adulterous heroine, but no other casting has been set, nor has the theatre. The Pirates of the Caribbean 29-year-old actress recently starred in the romantic comedy film Laggy alongside Chloe Grace Moretz and Sam Rockwell and in the British-American historical thriller film The Imitation Game opposite Benedict Cumberbatch. That's your news roundup. You've been watching Fashion Frontline. I'm Henrietta Moore. See you next time.